everyone, welcome to YouTube, and I'm so happy that of all the videos on YouTube to click, you clicked this one. Two thumbs up. Today I'm gonna, uh, oh, I suppose I should introduce myself. I'm Zach Miss Prime, aka Zach Miss Prime, here with another Transformers review, and today we're going to be reviewing the power of the Prime's punch, counter punch, and this guy is awesome. I mean, he's a little, uh, I mean, you, you look at the whole concept, and it is a little bit dumb. Um, I mean, it's a cool concept. The execution is a little wonky, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe someday some like third party company will do like, like, like a really cool, like third party punch, counter punch, masterpiece style. I would totally buy that because masterpiece, because punch, counter punch was one of the figures I had when I was a kid, the G1 figures. And, uh, I would totally, I would totally go for it. I wanted to go for the, uh, Transformer Collector Club one, but like, a, it was like super expensive in the aftermarket, and B, it's like, it's really just Sideswipe or Sunstreaker, depending on which mode it was in, so, oh no, my phone is making noise. Put that on airplane mode for everybody's sake. All right, now it's on airplane mode. So if my phone turns into an airplane and flies off, now you know why. Anyhow, in terms of accessories, he comes with one of these suckers. A lot of people, when they, when they saw this, they're like, ah, oh, does he turn into a limb? And he doesn't, which, I mean, I don't know. I knew just from looking at him. I was like, hey, he doesn't turn into a limb. There's no way. But like a couple of my, one of my friends was like, oh, no, I think he turns into a limb. And I'm like, no, I think you're wrong. But he does come with the same um, fist, fist knuckle thingamajig, fisticle, doohickey. Um, it's got all the same functionality. This whole thing comes off. This part can be like a little gun. This part you can put a Prime Master. He also comes with a Prime Master. This is, um, uh, what's her name? Prima. And uh, primarily molded in transparent plastic, which is kind of interesting because like the head, the arms, the legs, and the back is all transparent plastic. And then the, the lower legs and the torso are this gray plastic, which I suppose is pretty much spot on for how the color separation, how the part separation for these figures generally tends to go anyhow. Um, but yeah, basically uh, identical to, to all the other ones. You get your ball jointed shoulders, you got your ball jointed head. You got your bends in the legs. Let's focus on this a little bit. It wants to focus on the guy in the background, which is why we all have like a plain looking background. And then you just fold it in half and there's the back. Blue plastic with blue paint apps, which makes it all kind of blend together on the camera. My apologies. In person, it pops a bit better than this. I swear it does. And then that, that can just go in here. So you've got this like Prima, Prima fist. Wow, that, that sounds really naughty. <laughs> Anyhow, the figure itself comes with, um, comes with just this little pistol handgun thingamajig. Um, it's really yellow. In the counterpunch mode, it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb because it's really yellow and there's not much yellow on the robot. I mean, you can kind of see a little bit here in the arms and a little bit um, on the waist. But by and large, he's just all blue and a little bit of black. Um, so the yellow kind of sticks out. Maybe a black gun would have been better. Maybe a blue gun would have been better. I don't know. Um, in terms of paint apps, it's actually a pretty nice figure. He's got paint apps on the wheels. I do always like painted rims, like always. Uh, a little bit of red, a little bit of silver on his face. He's got a Tampo printed um, Decepticon symbol right there. Some, some metallic purple on the legs and uh, some black on the feet. Feet, notice the excessive use of air quotes. He doesn't really have feet. He's got the like combiner, as a friend of mine says, that the, the combiner wars hooves. So, alrighty. But posability is, is pretty good on him. He's got ball joint at the head, which allows for rotation. Don't rotate it all the way around because then he turns into an Autobot. Um, ball joint at the shoulder. This, this 
armature here is connected with like 50 joints. Okay, not like 50, but there's a there's a hinge joint up here. There's a hinge joint here. There's a hinge joint here. There's a hinge joint here. Like that all, like there's a lot of motion you can get with that. But all in all, it's just, you just need it to park here and then it doesn't need to do anything else. Um, you can use that to get his arm going out. Let's see. No, I guess you can't. As the arm goes out that much, but then he's like whacking himself in the face with his shoulder. Um, bends all the way around. He's got a upper bicep rotation. Bend at the elbow. Gets uh, 90 degrees or so. I mean, it will bend the other way too, but that, that's, for, that's for Autobots. He comes with an actual waist swivel that's not required for transformation. I think that's awesome. Thumbs up, Hasbro, you're fantastic. Uh, leg will bend forward that much, bend back that much. He's got the most, most of a Van Damme. I could say that's probably about 80% of a Van Damme. Knees will bend about 90 degrees and uh, no foot or foot articulation. But yeah, that's him for the counter punch mode. But he is, of course, a spy. So if you turn around to the other side, flip his little helmet like that, flip this up, and you take his shoulders, unpeg that, turn it around, and then there's this little peg right here. On this side, it doesn't really like to peg in. The joints are all doesn't like to peg in. The joints are all super stiff. So it'll sit there just fine and doesn't cause any kind of problem, uh, whatnot. But there he is. Oh, wait. R flip his fists around. There he is in his Autobot mode. This is Punch. And again, really good looking representation of this figure. Um, now he's got like yellow on his face instead of blue and like big old yellow chest. Um, the colors on this guy just really, really pop really well. Um, it's, I mean, I like this whole thing with the two hands on the actual, on the G1 Punch Counterpunch uh, toy. He actually has two sets of arms where one set of arms like folds up into there and the other set of arms like folds out from a different place. And, um, and it's kind of cool that he's, you know, that they've got the, the flip around hands thing so that they can make good use of that. Um, again, paint apps are kind of minimal on this guy. He's got some tampo printing on his chest with the Autobot symbol. Um, just some on the face here. Some regular, regular painting on the uh, thigh and this little piece of silver for the back window. Um, not, not a whole lot of paint apps on this guy. Oh, and red. The fists are actually, that are actually molded in yellow plastic. And this half is painted red and this half is painted blue. And I suspect that that's because um, the red didn't agree with the blue plastic very much. I don't know. They've got some red on the blue plastic here. But I don't know. I suspect that they may have had issues turning, yellow, turning blue plastic um, red. Whereas they didn't have issues turning yellow plastic both blue and red. I don't know. But anyhow, um, his articulation in this mode is basically the same because it uses pretty much all the same joints. Um, articulation for the shoulder, you have to kind of move, utilize this upper shoulder joint because of the way all this stuff kind of gets in the way. You can move it out of the way, but then it doesn't look right for other reasons because that's not how it's supposed to look. Bend at the elbow, bicep, waist. It's it's all it's all the same joints. Just they bend it the other way. <laughs> um, you can take this now. You they they typically use this as like that. They say that the prime armor is like a like a chest plate thingamajig. But for this guy, I think it actually looks really good as like a jetpack. You stick it on the back connector come on come on maybe i should fold the fingers up i don't know how that helped but so 
So now it kind of looks like a big old jet pack. And that's cool. It's fairly inobtrusive. I don't know. I've never been, I, I still haven't been sold on the, uh, on the prime armors. So, and since I don't, and since I literally have no other, the only other, um, power of the primes figures I have is battle trap and the nemesis prime. And so I'm probably not even going to do anything with the, 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 the handgun thing. I guess it's not technically a hand foot gun, even though that's, that's a really, uh, common name from the combiner wars to get him transformed up into his uh, vehicle mode what we're going to do is his head doesn't detach or anything like that um one thing about this head though and my friend was talking about this and i completely agree with what he says i kind of wish that there was some sort of a detent or something some way for this like click in the one position or the other because you just like bump it and it like goes down over his face and it's like oh crap he's a decepticon now but not really Anyhow, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to straighten this all out like so. And then there's a, there's a peg right here on his inside of his arm and a tab right there on the inside of his torso. That's going to peg in there. Do the same with the other side. It's going to peg in there. These suckers will kind of click into place once they're in the proper configuration here you want to take this panel here and open it up and then this whole part will fold out and then when you close it you got to kind of like spread these panels and kind of there's a series of tabs and slots it all fits together there quite nicely actually uh, the uh, these panels here you're gonna open them up and then fold this out and then fold this out I also like that this blue piece right here is not painted on clear plastic. It would have been so easy for them to just like have this whole piece be like one piece of clear plastic and then they put some paint on it. But that's actually molded in blue plastic, which I think is awesome. So take these, flip them around, and then they tab together on top. And it's a little bit of a tight fit. The things in here fit really, really well. Like they fit really, really precisely together. And there he is in his car mode. Um, and he's he's a good looking little car. I mean, this looks... I mean, what I like about this figure that I didn't like about like the Collector Club figure is that he's punch counter punch and like completely maintains his own identity instead of being, oh, hey, it's a repaint of another figure. Like, this is an original figure, and I really, really love that. Um, some paint up there on the rims there. Some detail on the front bumper. And he's got a peg hole on the top. You can attach that little gun there, or you can attach this bigger thing there as, like, boosters, as incredibly unaerodynamic boosters, and, like, stick this little gun on the side. Yeah, and then stick this gun on the other side, maybe. I don't know. Now we're just getting into full, full on ridiculousness. But yeah, there's a punch counter punch. He's pretty cool. Um, you can get it off Amazon right now. Um, oh wow, I just noticed he's got like cool like disc brake molded detail in there. That's pretty gnarly. I always like that. There's the official punch counter punch. And I think it's great. You should get one. Anyhow, you guys are all fantastic. Thank you for watching. Um, and I will catch you on the flip side. See ya.